So this isn't a university turning its back on American values. In fact, it's quite the opposite. What's going on, Buff Nation? As the Colorado Buffaloes prepare to face off against Texas Tech, a new controversy has emerged, one that seems to have little to do with football. A Texas-based merchant recently claimed that Colorado's refusal to approve his shirt design, which features both the American flag and the Colorado logo, is rooted in an anti-American stance. In his words, Colorado doesn't love America. And he's standing by this narrative to explain why his product was rejected. But don't just take our word for it. Here's the merchant himself explaining his side of the story. As we were uh, developing the shirt and sending it into the official channels, Texas Tech was ecstatic about it, uh, received an immediate yes and approval from uh, Texas Tech Athletics. And we were waiting on the University of Colorado to approve the shirt. Uh, multiple times uh, we reached out and the only message we ever got back from Colorado on multiple occasions was in quotes, not interested. No means no. So we, uh, we had some people reach out uh, asking why uh, we made, we, we, uh, we made, uh, we made some changes to the shirt as required by Colorado uh, asking for just multiple, just two helmets uh, locking up with each other to make it a, a neutral shirt. We said, absolutely. Like this is about celebrating American game for us. It's not about a rivalry made those adjustments, sent the artwork back in, and we had another uh, response back from Colorado saying, not interested. And uh, at that point, uh, we pressed a little bit more, and we were told that they would not be licensing uh, a product that had an American flag on there uh, in a conjunction with their logos or our logos. And uh, we, we, uh, we're we aware that there, there may be other uh, Colorado shirts in the marketplace, and we were given the opportunity to take the American flag off this shirt, and we absolutely refused to. Now that you've heard it from the merchant himself, let's dive deeper. The merchant paints a picture of Colorado as an unpatriotic institution, unwilling to stand by the American flag. However, Rick George, Colorado's athletic director, quickly responded, setting the record straight. George made it clear that Colorado has a long-standing record of supporting the military and national pride. From military appreciation games to merchandise specifically designed to honor service members, Colorado's actions reflect a strong commitment to the country. Beyond public gestures, Colorado has also brought the military to campus, giving students opportunities to interact with and learn from service members. So this isn't a university turning its back on American values. In fact, it's quite the opposite. George's message is clear. Accusations that Colorado is anti-American are simply false. What's the real motivation? So why would the merchant make these claims? The answer may be simpler than it seems. Money. Unlike Texas Tech, which eagerly approved of his shirt design, Colorado's licensing policies are notoriously strict. They don't allow their logo or likeness to be used by just any merchant which limits who can sell Colorado branded products. This policy has left some vendors feeling locked out from capitalizing on the growing popularity of the Buffaloes. In this case, it seems the merchant might be upset less about patriotism and more about lost potential revenue. By turning this into a values debate, he's drumming up controversy right before Saturday's game, hoping the attention will drive sales even if it means twisting the narrative to fit his financial goals. While the merchant attempts to paint Colorado as anti-American, the evidence points to a different story. Colorado stands firmly behind the flag, the military, and American values through consistent actions. This controversy might really just be about a vendor who couldn't get his product licensed, using national pride as a way to stir emotions. As fans gear up for the game, it's worth remembering that not all stories are as patriotic as they seem. Sometimes they're just about the profit margin. Drop your thoughts in the comments and let me know is this something or nothing. You thought you was gonna get what we got? <laughs>